All right, so you might be thinking this is the letter of U, but actually, you can see it very clear. I made a magnet. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so here we are with the power of the default cube. Now I'm gonna delete the camera. Uh, I'm gonna delete the light because that's only distracting. And oh, let me bring my screen cast key on. Oh, okay, I have my screen cast key on, so you know what I'm typing and what I'm clicking. Okay, okay. For the magnet, default cube, yes, you can use, but um, I didn't use the default cube actually. So I'm gonna delete that because we already need it. I actually use a circle. Okay, now I'm gonna press one, rotate x 90 degree. So we're gonna delete half of this half of this uh circle okay delete that vertices okay and we got like that okay select these two if you want delete this vertices and mirror it okay now i'm gonna press n and go with or a mirror let's hope this works yes it works okay can use auto mirror make it easier for you all right now i'm gonna bring this up uh, i'm gonna turn this on e to the z okay that height would do now i'm gonna select all e to the y oh i'm gonna turn this off e to the y let me see okay okay that would do no need to be super I and mean, super big or fat now we're done with this one let's add some solidify to it the solidify modifier okay but first since i believe ooh, okay we can you press n all right that's good because we didn't actually messing with the scales if we mess with the scales that's going to be a trouble when you we use uh uh solidify okay so if you scale the object press ctrl a make sure in object mode select the object ctrl a and apply the scale okay so it reset to one right so now i'm gonna add solidify to it this one now you can see the thickness you didn't see it before uh, okay oh don't click this i just <laughs> accidentally clicked this one all right, so I'm gonna up the thickness. You can go to negative or you can go to positive. I'm gonna go to positive, okay? If you want, that's a bad idea. 0.500. Or you can just move this around. Hold this one, left click and move it around, okay? So Z, so I want it like that. That is way too fat, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna I mean def I mean throw a little bit of this pet G to the Y. Alright, that would do. And now add another cut. This is meant for the white, okay? To add a white there. G to the Z. That one would do. What I mean about white, I mean the color. This is the red, this is the white, okay? Now, seems that everything's okay, but wait. Don't apply the mirror and the solidify yet because we are not done. We're gonna color it, okay? But you can shade smooth. Go to, go to auto smooth now. Shade smooth first, and then go to here, and then auto smooth, okay? Now that looks beautiful. Now let's go to shading. All right. The magnet, I believe it's red. Dark red like that. Okay, that red would do. Okay, so now I only gonna adjust to the specular and the roughness, okay? Since this is not a metal, but if you want it to be metal, then up the metal, okay? So the specular, I'm gonna decrease the specular for less less reflection. Roughness, and maybe I'm gonna decrease a little bit. That's way too shiny. Magnet not supposed to be shiny, right? Alright, okay, that would do. 
And now, go to edit mode, select the face there. Alright, now, slot, add a new one, press new, and sign. It should look something like that, right? Very easy, right? Remember? And again, for the specular, up to you how you want it. So let's just say you want the same setting from the specular and the roughness instead of keep on looking back like that. So you can actually just go to here, select this one, control C, go to here, material 2, delete this one, and control V to paste, and go there. So all you have to do is this one, adjust the color back to white. Oh, all go to black. Okay, that would do. Up, up the V, okay? What is V actually? Uh, I know this hue, saturation. I don't know what this is. V. Oh, value. Okay. Much true. Hue, saturation. Okay, okay. Alpha. Okay, alpha. I don't know what it does. <laughs> so, there you go, have it. You don't need to, I mean, retype this thing or adjusting until you got something you're liking. Just copy it from the beginning you make, okay? So, we actually done here. So once you're satisfied, go to here. I mean, apply all the modifier, okay? Select this, okay? If you like the mirror, then like the mirror, okay? Remember, apply the first one first, okay? Not the second, the first one first. Apply the solidify, I mean the mirror. <laughs> apply and apply the solidify. There you have it. Simple magnet. Simple magnet, guys. And I'm going to set the origin first to geometry. And I'm going to rotate that to the X 90 degree. And bring him up a little bit. DZ1. Uh, DZ1 did work. So I'm going to move it manually. Add a. Okay, so you don't have to follow this one, okay? Move that a little bit down there. Oh, zoom that again. Okay, that would be. it's still not too much, but well, because we ain't gonna see it here anyway, we're gonna see it up here. Go to here now. This is EV, but I want cycles, okay? And don't forget this one up the G use the GPU, okay? If you don't have GPU, use CPU, also fine. But if you have GPU, that's a good, that's a, that's the provide your benefits, okay? So, Shift A, I'm going to add a light. Point or area, up to you. I'm going to use the point, G to the Z. Right, I think the light is not too strong, maybe 500, 500 watts, and up the radius. Okay, G to the X. There uh, we do. So you don't have to follow this one, okay? We're done making magnet actually. So that's how to make a simple magnet. And oh, I hope you didn't hear a dog barking because, well, that's what happened when they miss someone's food. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, see you next time. Go ahead and try it yourself.